Hey folks, uh, I'm going to apologize in advance for the terrible production quality of this video. This is intended just to help a specific user uh, who's having an issue uh, producing a graphic. Um, however, I thought it would be useful enough for other people that it would be worth recording this and posting it for everyone. So let's go. Um, the user posted a graphic that looks like a large word uh, like Nana or somebody somebody in your family who's important to you and then a bunch of children's names overlaid on top of it and the whole thing sort of uh, welded together with the names not conflicting with each other. So I'm going to walk through how I would do this uh, using Lightburn. So first uh, I'm going to create the main word um, and we're going to make it fairly large because that was kind of what this user had. Um, she had the word Nana, like this, uh, quite tall. And then there were three children's names laid over top of it. Uh, these are going to be much smaller. Uh, so I'm going to do these like this. Eddie. I don't actually remember what the names were. So let's do... It was something like this. Th those aren't the correct names, but we're close. Um, and they were done in a script font, so I'm going to uh, use something maybe a little more interesting than that. Let's try brush script. Okay, so that's actually pretty close. Um, so this is approximately the look that she was going for. Um, now, what I've done so far is very, very simple. I've just typed the text and chosen a font and scaled it. Um, I'm not using any hotkeys or anything exciting like that. Um, for this, I'm going to grab it from the middle here, um, move it into the center here, and when you see the cursor change to that uh, X, that means I've snapped the center. Um, so we have the text snapped to the center of the big word. Uh, then I'm going to grab the sizing handle over here uh, and drag it. And holding the control key makes it drag from the center. So I can get uh, get things lined up close to the way I want. Now this is the tricky bit. Um, so if I have this layer set to fill and I do a preview right now. So that's up here on the monitor. Uh, this button is the preview button or you can hit Alt P. Either one of those combinations works. Um, we get this, and if you zoom in, you'll see either uh, double burn or you'll see intersections where things overlap. Neither of those are what we want. Um, and in fact, I was expecting to see intersections everywhere, so I'm kind of surprised that we didn't. Um, that's why. I've got fill shapes all at once. This is the default setting. And in fact, I'm just going to reset this to the default completely so that we're sure that everything is clean. Um, and then go here again. Now, this is the effect that she is getting right now um, and not what you want. So you can see everywhere that there's an edge, basically, Lightburn toggles the fill. So if you were to engrave this on something and you were trying to read this text, it doesn't show very well. It doesn't look very good. Um, so the idea here is to put an offset around this shape or around this text um, and then cut out the big word using that offset shape. So what I'm going to do here is select uh, my simple text or sorry the small names um, by just clicking. Go down over here to the offset tool, click that um, choose an offset distance that's appropriate. So two millimeters is probably enough. Three millimeters, eighth of an inch or 0 0.125 if you're working with uh, imperial numbers. Um, so you can see that uh, is creating an offset around that text that's fairly large. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm also going to set it to select the resulting objects. That's not necessary, but it makes the next step a little easier. Click OK. And now you'll notice that that outline is selected. So now we want to uh, weld this new outline with the big text. And that's the key. If I preview this right now, 
we get something that looks like just as much of a jumbled mess as what we had before. If we hold down the shift key and also select by clicking the big word in behind, go over here and hit the weld button. Now you'll notice that all of the edges or lines that went through the, the kids names are now gone. So I'm going to undo so that you can see what it used to look like. And then I'm going to redo the weld so you can see what it looks like now. And notice the differences. So um, this portion of the A goes right through the D and the R. If I redo the weld, uh, it's gone. So if you preview this now by clicking preview or Alt P, we get fairly readable kids' names over top of the nanographic, and if you were to engrave this onto a tumbler or a cup or a serving tray or something like that, it would make a cool keepsake. Um, that's it.